Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning back into another episode. Today, we're going to pick up on episode four. I've made quite a bit of progress on this orange D16 Vitar built single cam. So let's go ahead and roll the intro and get this party started. So guys, our head is partially on the car. I've got the turbo kit basically mocked into place so I could route for oil uh, feed and return and go ahead and mock up some intercooler piping. So what we've learned at this point is we're waiting on my battery powered impact to charge so I can remove the crank and we can time this thing and finish putting it together. But with the turbo mocked into place and everything loose, we have our feed line here up top and we've ordered a flange based off of some measurements I took and then we needed another flange to go on the bottom of it. The information or like the, uh, the pieces don't come with the turbo. Um, so you have to order them separate. We tried to resave or like um, reuse some of the fittings that came off of the, uh, the previous like 35 eBay turbo, the 3582. So it didn't work out. Um, these really require flanges or a different uh, thread pattern to be able to thread a fitting straight into it. So those are coming, they're in the mail. And in return, I went ahead and kind of was looking at the oil pan and I've got the oil pan over here. I'm gonna show you guys. The previous like return line system was just like a, a slip over piece of hose with a clamp on it. Uh, so I wanted to fix that and I'll show you what the old oil pan looked like. So down here we had like a five eighths threaded like piece of uh, like brass so this was actually looking like steel but it was in the wrong spot um so we needed it actually more like over here sorry guys i forgot i had to move my camera but um in order to do that we needed a brand new oil pan so i got in my little parts box and we broke out another steel d16 pan and we put a 10 an fitting in it and that allow us to get pretty close on our oil return so you can see here they're like a, a direct shot, if you guys can see that. Um, so we've got some other additional fittings coming so I can make a line. And then we needed a 90 degree coupler here. This one is just too big. It was like on the other turbo. Um, so we need like a two and a half to two and a half. And then we'll be back in business. Previously, I mentioned to you guys that we were gonna do, I think a fuel line. So I built the line off camera. Um, it consists of six AN. Uh, line itself, a couple swivel fittings, an inline filter, which is something you can pick up. You can buy all this stuff off Amazon, eBay. So let me show you what the final product looked like after I attached it to the car. So back here, guys, you can use a fitting and adapt it to the factory steel line. And then the whole shoot and match is ready to go. So with that being the case, we're basically waiting on a couple things. Um, we're waiting on some fittings, some flanges, a coupler, uh, battery powered impact to charge um, and then we can time it and finish putting you know all the other accessories and pieces like the intake manifold on it um, i was trying to save myself as much room so i could work around it with it being um you know i get to choose so um i didn't want to make anything harder on myself than what i needed to but we've got everything cleaned up um, the head looks great i got a lot of the little fittings put back into it earlier today the water neck back on it and we're actually waiting on a VTEC solenoid. So the previous head that was warped uh, was actually a D16 Z6 head. Uh, the head that we got is a D16 Y8 head. The pattern and the VTEC solenoid is completely different. So this VTEC solenoid here is what's supposed to fit on a D16 Z6, and it will not fit the D16 Y8 bolt pattern right there. So luckily we've got another car uh, and some more parts. So we're probably gonna rob that off, but I'm waiting on the customer to get off work and I kind of respond. So I don't spend any any of their money they don't wanna spend right this minute. So uh, the head's torqued down. We've got 60 foot pounds on the ARPs like it recommends. 
and you know we're kind of smooth sailing guys so um while we've been working on this and doing a lot of the pieces and waiting on different things to kind of mature and arrive um i've also been putting together parts for the f-22 so the f-22 is going to be an f to b and a year ago i actually bought the f to b kit and I opened it, of course, but like I didn't actually look at it. So I unboxed it today and I'll show you guys too. So this is the entire F to B kit. Uh, everything that you see here on top of this cardboard. So it comes with some instructions and it comes with an adapter plate. And inside these instructions, it tells you what it is that you need from each baggie. Uh, and then each one of them is marked. So like set C over here says... Set is for the clutch slave cylinder bracket. Set E, so on and so forth. So while I was waiting on some other parts to arrive for this orange car, I ordered some clutch pressure plate bolts and a clutch kit. So we've got some items here. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. But we've got some items here that over the weekend I'll probably work on so we can get the F-Series mocked up and ready to go in the car. But we're just kind of cruising along. Um, I've got a couple other pieces that kind of need to be um, put into place that we can do while we're you know waiting but I've also kind of mentioned to you guys that there's an Integra that's going to be available on the channel and I've got a couple pictures um, actually I'll tell you what I'll just go ahead and turn the camera around and I'll show it to you so guys this is a two-door non-sunroof car it's going to have the wide front end the whole car will be one color Boy, I keep losing my voice, but a little bit of teaser, something to look forward to. The B16 is actually planned for that car, so uh, I'm putting a lot of the pieces together. But guys, you can have a chance to own this car. So we'll start a series on it in the near future, and you guys can follow along. But until that time, it's all about the orange car and some of the stuff currently in flight. So guys, I wanted to give you just kind of a preview, uh, a preview, a brief update um, while I've been working and sweating in this heat, but ultimately we're making some progress there's a lot to come this car is hopefully going to be wrapped up within the next 48 hours uh, as soon as i get some of these pieces and then we'll aim uh, the exhaust through the hood and kind of conclude it so guys really brief i appreciate you watching thanks for tuning in we'll catch you in the next one